Welcome to our USA Canine Dog Carding video. It's important that you test your dog before you start carding with them. Here we are testing one of our dogs. While he seemed interested in the beginning, he didn't seem as enthusiastic during the process. So this dog we allow just to hang out and watch. We don't use him for carding. Later in the video, you'll see two of our other dogs pulling the cart. They show a lot more interest in the carding process, and these are the dogs that we use for carding. They have a lot of fun. They get very excited when they see the equipment. That's the kind of dog we want to use. Carding is supposed to be fun for the dog and the owner. No dog should be forced into this work. Here we are testing one of our other dogs. If you watch, her tail is riding high. She's got a good walk, good bounce in her step, and she's having a great time. This is one of the dogs that we like to use for carding. Do not hook your dog up to a cart under the age of two. All three dogs in this video are over two years old. It is very important your dog's bone structure does not fully set until they're about or slightly over two years old. Doing so can severely hurt the dog. Take the time to build your dog's strength. We don't just go into the gym and lift the heaviest weight we can. That's how we get hurt. It's no different for your dog. Slowly add. What you'll see here now is Asha's pulling well over 250 pounds, and she's a 65-pound dog. If done properly, the dogs can pull two, three, even four times their weight. Never stand or jump in this type of cart. The two rails put a lot of downward pressure on the dog's feet. If you notice, I'm leaning back keeping the rails up. You can actually balance the cart as you move. The way to get into this cart is to straddle it, then sit back, immediately raising the two side rails. Again, do not lean forward, stand, or jump on this cart. You can hurt your dog's feet.
Now here we have our third dog. This dog shows a lot of promise. He loves to pull the cart. This is the kind of dog you want to pull a cart. The dog should never be forced to do this work. He should be willing to do this on his own and have a great time doing it. If you're going to run two dogs in tandem, do not rely on one dog to teach the other. Each dog should be run individually and taught the job as an individual. Over time, you bring the dogs together. Here's an example of two dogs running in tandem successfully.